Hello Year 9. Today I'll be teaching you about the use of radioisotopes in medicine. To fully understand what we'll, we will be looking at today, we first need to know what a radioisotope is. A radioisotope of an element is any isotope of that element that gives off radiation as it decays or breaks down. There are many different radioisotopes, and the one I will be talking about is called technetium 99m. With any radioisotope, there is a particular type of radiation it emits. It can either be alpha radiation, beta particles, or gamma radiation. With technetium 99m, it emits gamma radiation. Gamma radiation is considered the most dangerous of the three radiations, but technetium 99m emits low energy gamma rays, so it isn't very dangerous. There are some types of radiation that are used in modern medicine today, like technetium 99m. It is the most widely used radiation in medicine, with 80% of all nuclear medical procedures using this radioisotope. They use it for many different procedures, and it's even used for medical and research purposes, which include evaluating the medical condition of the heart, lungs, liver, spleen, bone and kidneys. It's used most commonly because it has a half-life of six hours. A half-life is the time for half the atoms in the radioactive substance to disintegrate. So having six hours as a half-life is perfect for diagnostics because some other radioisotopes have half-lives that are a lot longer. The way it works is that the technetium 99M is extracted and then put into a serum, which is a diagnostic agent. It is then injected into the patient, which allows gamma cameras to scan and to take pictures of the body. So as you can see, that technetium 99M has many different medical purposes and it's really useful in modern medicine. There are so many benefits of using technetium 99M in modern medicine. Some include its half-life, which like I said before is long enough to look at the organs or tissue, but short enough so that the radiation doesn't affect the patient. Another benefit is that it emits by a process called the isomeric, which releases gamma rays and low energy electrons. And because there is no high energy emission, the dose of radiation in the patient is low. Another benefit is that the low energy gamma rays it emits escape the body easily and are easily seen by a gamma camera. Other benefits include that it concentrates highly in the area of the tissue or organ of interest and can identify the different organs or tissue, and also because the body gives it the ability to identify different organs. Even though there are so many benefits, there are a few problems with using this radioisotope in medicine. Even though I listed its half-life as an advantage, it can also be seen as a disadvantage because it may not last long enough for all diagnostic tests. This problem is very rare but should still be taken into account whilst looking at technetium 99M. Even though it emits low energy gamma rays, there is still a 1 in 1000 chance that the patient will develop cancer, so there is always a very slim chance that it can cause harm to the patient, even if it is 1 in 1000. Even though there are some small issues with technetium 99M, the benefits definitely outweigh the problems because without technetium 99M and other radioisotopes in modern medicine today, we wouldn't be able to always identify what is wrong with some organs or tissues in our bodies. So I think that the good justifies the bad. Thank you, Year 9, and I hope that you enjoyed my presentation of technetium 99M.